Hello YouTube friends. I am going to share with you my sixth speech in Toastmasters. This is my attempt at a hypnotic parable where the story doesn't actually matter but the feelings you feel while listening to the story does. I've been reading and listening to a lot of NLP so I thought I would give it a try. Write this hypnotic parable and share it with my Toastmaster friends. And I'm going to share it with you today. Basically, this is a story of a man named Big Jake, who turned tragedy into lasting change. Big Jake was a family man. He had a good family, he had good friends, he had good children. On the outside, Big Jake had it all. But on the inside, Big Jake was living a life full of a fear. He had a fear of rejection. He didn't ask for a raise on his job because he didn't want to be rejected. He never really felt close to his family or his friends because he didn't want to get too close or he might get hurt. He had a fear of failure such as he didn't want to dance in front of people because he did not want to look like a fool. He had a fear of being in crowds that just did not feel comfortable. Big Jake decided one day that he was going to make a change. He was going to Carnival in Brazil. There, he can go to a place where he's never been. He could be in a crowd of strangers and dance to his heart's content. There, he thought, he'd get over his fears. Unfortunately for Big Jake, when he actually got to Brazil, real tragedy struck. He was kidnapped by a local group of thugs. Every day they would drag Big Jake, put his head down with a gun on it, put the phone to his ear, have him call his family for a ransom that they could not even afford. Oh, Big Jake did not think he would survive this ordeal. He looked back on his life and noticed how silly his past fears was. How silly his fear of rejection. How silly his fear of failure. Now he has something real and tangible to be afraid of. Looking back at those past fears, his created fears seemed silly. Created fears were just so silly. He decided that if he ever escaped this real prison of fear, he would leave behind his metaphorical prison of fear. Lucky for Big Jake, after five days of just the worst terror, he was freed. Big Jake just felt amazing after he was after he was free. He went into this field and just laid down and just relaxed. It felt so good to relax. As Jake sunk into his surroundings, releasing all tension in all his muscles and just relax. It was then that Big Jake noticed that there is this yellow, yummy, joyous, love, free, freedom feeling just burst out of him as he just felt amazing lying there. I mean, can you imagine? Just imagine. Remember a time in your life where you felt this freedom, love, and joy, whereas just everything was just amazing could be the first time you saw your child, the first time you won something amazing. Just think of that most amazing feeling that you had and just double that feeling. And you can double it again and double it so much that you've never felt so good in your entire life. And then you are imagining how Big Jake was just feeling at that moment lying in that grassy field.
Big Jake then remembered a moment in his childhood where he just felt that amazing, joyous feeling burst out of him that just caused every cell in his body to vibrate with joy. It was a time where he was with his cousins. And they were in a field, five years old, being silly, and just spinning, and spinning, and spinning, and falling down, and just laughing, and having a good old time. And Big Jake thought, yeah, I know, I will get up and spin. So Big Jake started to spin, and spin, and then he noticed that amazing feeling, instead of just bursting out of him, actually started to come up and spin back around. And the more he spun, the faster it would speed up, it would double in speed every time, it would double in size. His entire body was just awash with this amazing, yellow, glowy, gooey, amazing feeling of freedom and joy. And Big Jake thought, yes, this is the feeling I want to feel. Instead of feeling fear of rejection, Instead of feeling fear of failure on those created, silly, past fears, I want to feel this feeling instead. When those actions arise where historically I would feel fear, I would feel this feeling, and this feeling would give me choice. I will be able to do what I want to do in this feeling instead of being ruled by the fear that I used to feel. So he thought of all the moments in his past where he would feel this fear of failure, fear of rejection, and he would just spin this amazing feeling. And it just covered his entire life and then covered his entire past. Then he tried in vain to look at the future and feel those feelings again. Yet all he could feel was this amazing, gooey, just joyous, yellow feeling just flow through his body any time where he would feel fear or rejection or feel a failure it was just impossible because he was feeling this amazing feeling oh big jake decided that he wanted a physical reminder of this feeling something he could take with him so anytime he needs to remember what this feeling is He felt his pulse. Feel your pulse right now. And with each beat of your pulse, feel freedom, love, and joy to spin and flow through your body. With each beat of your pulse, know that when you used to feel, feel, fear of failure or rejection, you can feel this feeling instead. With each beat of your pulse, double that feeling, triple that feeling, quadruple that feeling. With each beat of your pulse, feel appreciation for the best reason, which is to be alive. And feel joy for even a better reason, which is none. <laughs>